I tend to want somebody that's as crazy as I am when it comes to having goals. I'm attracted to a goofy, down-to-earth, strong woman with someone I can trust with my life. I'm looking for my partner to be career-driven, financially stable, has manners, and just is a good person. If you have a beard, it's like a plus. <laughs> Your name is Darius, and this is your story. You are 29 years old. For work, you are a manager. You grew up in Maryland. Your cultural or ethnic background is African American. My name is Andrew. I am 32 years old. I'm a construction worker. I grew up in New York, and I'm Jamaican. Your name is Ashley, and this is your story. You're 25 years old. You're a waitress. Grew up in New York, and you're Black American. My name is Rebecca. I'm 28. I'm a production manager. I grew up in New York, and my cultural background is I'm Jamaican. Word. Yeah. Didn't hear the accent. I was. I was, I was really... born here. Oh, okay. I was born in Jamaica. No accent either. Yes, English second language. Elementary oh, school. Yeah. Yeah. They put you in that class and mm -hmm. they had to teach me how to pronounce the letter H. <laughs> One, two, three, and then everybody in the class said, laugh off of me. I said, You mean three? I said, No, three. Well, your English is perfect now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why did you think that I was a waitress? Oh, uh, you got the the whole waitress look like What does that mean? Um, hey, how you doing? Can I take your pleasant? order? Yeah, the pleasant, <laughs> right. I could take that as a negative. Because pleasantry, I think, could be anything. I could be a teacher. But more like a waitress, because you got that smile and You're the not glow. really winning no. me over right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think waitress was a bad job It's to not have. a bad thing. It's okay. just not my profession. I feel you. I feel you. Growing up, it was a lot of struggle. Coming from a dysfunctional family, a Caribbean family from Jamaica, we had to move around a lot. I came here when I was six years old. My mom and dad were both chefs. We were homeless at a point, and then we kind of worked our way back up. It made me more adaptable to every situation I ever faced, and I guess if I feel like something is gonna work out, it's gonna work out. I was adopted at 15. It was, of course, a real struggle, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I love my family. Both my biological and my adopted family are Caribbean. I grew up with my sister and lots of brothers. The house is loud. There were people coming in and out, kids on top of kids, and just love, and I hope to have that one day. You're mom cooked most of the meals when you were growing up. You call your mom at least one time a day. The most challenging thing about bringing a partner to meet your family would be introducing and the overall first impression. Well, you're right about the first one. Yeah, my mom, she does a lot of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I call my mom three times a day. Yeah, that's, that's my homie. The most challenging thing about bringing a partner to meet my family is looks believe it or not. Yeah, because they're so picky on how the person looks. Your mom does most of the cooking. You call your mom, say, five times a day. The most challenging thing about bringing a partner to meet your family would be profession. My dad cooked most of the meals when I was growing up. Um, I called my mom twice a day. We text all day, though. Okay. The most challenging thing about bringing a partner to meet my family would be the interview. Yeah, what does the interview mean? My family definitely interviews my partners. So that means what your job is, where's your family come from, down to what kind of sneakers you like. It, it would be 101 questions. Word. Yep. And what do you mean by looks? What does that mean? Yeah, I'm not really too crazy about how the person I'm dating looks, you know? But my family, they're always like, my dad would just do this stare like, yeah. You're good. All right. <laughs> Why not? So how you think I would do in the interview? Um, half of my family would like you, half of them wouldn't. Okay. 
they wouldn't like your job, mm. to be honest. Okay. What about me? Yeah, they'll love you. <laughs> Plus, you're Jamaican as well, so they will definitely I'm not crazy. cooking for you. <laughs> Where? No cooking? Nope. But I grew up to... with a man did all the cooking in my house, so. Oh, yeah. You're lucky I'm a good cook. I could teach you some things as well. You know? Oh, I know how to cook. Oh, I just, know, but don't, just want don't want to. Okay, all right, <laughs> I guess. I have a lot of thoughts on my culture. It's very old school and traditional. I just want to take the good parts and make it more modern. Selfishly, I want him to make more money than me, but I'm not going to be quiet and let him make all the decisions. It needs to be like 60-40, which of course means 60, and him 40. <laughs> the last time I fell in love was seven years ago. It was like what you watch in the movies, a fairy tale. We held hands when we were driving. Years went by, not one fight. Like, I was happy. I found out the hard way that when you're in love and you do something stupid, you're gonna end up regretting it for the rest of your life. You feel most fulfilled working as a CEO of a big company. An appropriate number of hours to spend working per week is 40 hours. In 10 years, you would want to have a big family and uh, your own business, of course, traveling the world. Wow, looks like you're getting to know me. Okay, cool. I would feel most fulfilled working as an activist and a socialite. An appropriate number of hours to spend working is 50. There's no such thing as too many hours. Work harder. Oh. In 10 years, I hope to be married, four kids, pop out three, adopt one, in a brownstone in Manhattan and Harlem, dual citizenship in another country where we fly back and forth. Oh, that's sweet. Your turn. You would feel most fulfilled when you're working and making money. An appropriate number of hours to spend working for you is 45. In 10 years, you want to be wealthy with a small to medium family, married and happy somewhere in New York City. I'd be most fulfilled, yeah, when I'm financially stable. I hate being broke, <laughs> you know? Who wants that? An appropriate hour to spend working would be 40 hours. Because I don't think people should just work you need some time to live. If you're always at work, you can't live. Basically, you go to work and go home and go to sleep. In 10 years, that's like really dead on. Really? Yeah, the wealthy part too. <laughs> yeah, so dead on. I like how you caught that and you missed everything else. Nah, the family thing, of course, you know. When you grow up in a big family, you tend to like that yeah. big family atmosphere because a whole bunch of little ones being Yeah themselves, the little individual cells running around to f trying to figure out life. Yeah, I can't imagine not having siblings or cousins. Like, it just teaches you so much, like sharing and just, yeah. you know, how to deal with other personalities. And I want my kids to learn that naturally in my home. Sweet. What kind of relationship are you looking for at this point in your life? In this point of my life, mm -hmm. I'm looking for, uh, I have an open state of mind when it comes to relationship. I'm sorry, excuse me, what does that mean? Yeah, meaning like I believe in open relationships. Oh. I want to give that person that I'm dating the option of going out there and hopefully finding somebody better than me. I'm not saying I go out looking for someone better than the person I'm talking to, but I always keep an open mind. If I do run into someone, I do talk to that person. I've seen it work. But you're single right now. Recently, okay. it worked for me. Cause I, like I said, I get to the point where I get, oh man, bored. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Mm -hmm. I respect that and I totally get that and that's what you want. It is kind of not realistic that you're gonna keep dating people with this open relationship and think you're not gonna get bored because even when you're in love and you've been with someone forever, you're gonna get bored. That's like working through a relationship. That's where you have to like work hard because a relationship is about hard work. Mm -hmm. I just can't imagine looking for someone else while I'm with someone at all times. It would break my heart, and I hope that the person that I'm with would be content with just me. I understand that. Having an open mind doesn't mean I'm going out and I'm looking for that person. I'm waiting for that person to st stop me from doing that. Because if I'm like, oh man, I'm head over heels for this person, I'll stop what I'm doing and keep my full attention to on that person. I know it's weird. When I 
first saw you, I said that I would hate you. I like your smile, it's very beautiful. And after the conversation, I still said I would date you because I see that you're very strong minded and you know, you're family orientated and I, that's always a plus, you know, coming from a big family and that you're smart. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so when I first saw you, I said I would maybe date you okay. <laughs> because I liked your beard. Um, I don't know, I liked how you looked, but I never go on a date with someone just because. I have to get to know you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then when I did get to know you, I said I would not date you. And the reason why I would not date you, mm -hmm. it all goes back to our last conversation about you having open relationships. Everything else is great, you know, family, we're both Caribbean. Um, we're both from New York. Everything was going well until you broke my heart. I, I don't know. I guess I'm onto something that not a lot of people is onto because I'm not going to be insecure or worrying about what the person that I'm talking to is doing. But this has opened my eyes that a lot of men may feel this way, yeah. or people in general. Just like keep an open mind and that the other person might be the one and you're just looking right past them to the next one. That's true. I hope you find your love. Thank you, I hope you find yours too. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Super Cake.